Thank you. Listen, there is something I must tell you. Excuse me. Sorry. Oh, Paul, heavens, I nearly forgot. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry about this. Dear Miss Rayburn, <laughs> I have had the same boyfriend for several years. However, recently I met another boy at a dance. He was charming, and we danced together till midnight when I had to get the coach home. <laughs> but after that, I heard nothing from him until this morning, when he suddenly turned up at my front door with one of my shoes. <laughs> He told me he had forgotten my name and had been travelling round the country with the shoe of mine next to his heart. <laughs> he then said he loved me and asked me to marry him. Can I trust this boy? Although we danced half the night together, he did not remember my name or even my face, which is a bit peculiar, not my face. <laughs> this boy seemed only interested in one thing. My shoe size. <laughs> now, I would not want to, to marry anyone who is odd in any way, as I come from a respectable family. Well, except for my father, who is a bankrupt, my mother, who is a fairy, <laughs> and my two stepbrothers, who like dressing up in women's clothes. <laughs> I feel it would be safer to marry my steady. But the second boy is richer and comes from a nice background, even though he may be a foot fetishist. <laughs> what do you think your sincerely worried C? P.S. I have just discovered the second boy is not a boy at all, but a female transvestite. <laughs> In the circumstances, marriage is clearly out of the question, and there is now no need for you to answer my letter. Sorry to have troubled you. Cinderella. <laughs>